Hey, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys my thoughts on the Clue snowboard bindings. Clue has been a sponsor of the channel now for over a year, and I've gotten to ride the bindings in all kinds of different conditions all over the world every month of the year. So I'm gonna share with you guys my experience with the Clues in all these different locations, and also all the secret and hidden benefits of snowboarding with Clue bindings. Starting out, the first place I got to ride the Clue Seppin bindings was last September in New Zealand. In New Zealand, there's a whole variety of terrain from park to powder to backcountry. And this is where I really got to know the Clue bindings and experience some of the benefits. One of my first days riding the Clues was actually a deep powder day at Cardrona. And I found the Clues just so easy right off the bat to step into off the chair and quickly get into that powder run, which is always important on a pow day is you wanna be first to get those fresh lines. New Zealand also has some incredible parks and having two bases with the clues made it really easy to swap between my powder board to my park board, swapping high backs from one base to another just in a few seconds, making it super convenient to go from my pow board to my park board. In October, I got to snowboard in Stubai, Austria. Stubai is one of the best places for early season snowboarding and I actually met up with the whole clue team, including the owners, the engineers. It was really amazing getting to know everybody and also getting some insights into the clues. We got really lucky with some October powder at Stubai. One thing I really noticed about the bindings is they have a good medium flex, so giving me lots of support for those big mountain lines. For November, I was back snowboarding in North America, getting some early season hike park laps in Utah. In the hike park, I really felt like I was kind of cheating with the clues because they're so easy to step out of, hike up, and then just get back onto my board so quickly. Just getting those really quick park laps. So for early season conditions and for progressing in the park, the clues really helped me to get more laps. For December and January, I was still in Utah and experiencing that deep, light Utah powder for the first time. The great thing with the clues in the deep powder snow is that you have the option of using the step-in function, but you can also use the straps. On the really deep days where I was getting some snow in the binding, it was so convenient to have the strap option so that I could just strap up my bindings when I needed to, but also use the step-in feature when it was convenient as well. So it was so cool for those months riding deep powder, but then having the option of either stepping in or just using the strap, whichever was most convenient for that deep powder snow. In February, I took the Clue Bindings on one of the most special trips I've ever done to Gulmarg, India. India has been a destination I've been trying to go snowboarding for years and finally got to make it happen this past season. And India turned out to be some of the best powder and free ride terrain I've gotten to ride in my entire life. One of the hidden benefits I really used a lot in India was that when doing short hikes, having the high backs stay on my boots made my snowboard so much lighter. So I got some of my best lines of my life in India, riding some of the most fun terrain and meeting up with an incredible local crew. For March, April, and May, I was mostly riding spring conditions in Northern California, splitting my time between North Star, Palisades, and Mammoth Mountain. The convenience of the clues when hiking a feature made it so much faster, being able to just quickly get the board off, hike a feature, get back in, so that you can get as many attempts at a trick as possible. For me, the mid-flex of the clue bindings also just give you that good stability for park riding. They're stiff enough to give you support, but they're also not too stiff so that you can still get into your different snowboard tricks. We did still have some pow days around Tahoe, so some short backcountry hikes, and again, with having the high backs on my feet, making those hikes that much easier because the snowboard is lighter. For the summer months of June and July, I was snowboarding at Mount Hood in Oregon, mostly with the High Cascade Snowboard Camp, getting lots of park laps in, working on tricks. Still got to do some big mountain hikes with those incredible views in Oregon. Again, the convenience of the clues, allowing you to quickly hike a feature or hike the half pipe in the park, allowing you to get more attempts at that trick you're going for. Which brings us to the last month of the year, August, and I spent August in Argentina. This is my first trip to Argentina, and it's been absolutely mind-blowing. The mountains up here, the incredible terrain. The clues have been super convenient. Having them on my feet for the hikes, making my board that much lighter. 
and the stiffness of the binding giving me that stability and support to ride at my full potential. That has been my experience with the Clues over the past year. I again want to thank Clue for sponsoring the channel. If you guys have any questions, hit me up down below in the comments. And if you want to check out these bindings, I'll put a link to them in the description. Thanks for watching, have fun with your snowboarding, and I'll see you in the next video.